what's up this is a really quick simple and easy video being keto have you ever wanted to try keto honey or ever had a taste for honey well i have the steps right here let's follow these okay so what you're going to need is two types of sugar you're going to want your brown sugar replacement um and i have the swerve brand and you're going to want an allulose. I have the Splenda brand, okay? Um, and then your xanthan gum, which is going to thicken your honey, honey-flavored extract. And then you're going to want water so you can boil that, okay? So it, I started off with two cups of water here. But for this recipe, just start off with one cup of water for your um, to start out with, all right? So we're going to pour that into your non-stick frying pan. Next, you're going to take your brown sugar replacement. Again, I have the Swerve brand. I love this brand. Get about a fourth cup of that for your one cup of water, okay? And now we're going to go ahead and pour that into the skillet. So once you um, pour that into the skillet, you are going to want to go ahead and get a whisk and begin breaking that brown sugar replacement up and stirring that brown sugar um, replacement in with that water so then now what we're doing is we're letting our brown sugar and our water simmer because we're trying to get more of the syrup sticky honey like texture if you want that texture use less water um, and more sugar and what that sugar is going to do is that sugar is going to make it a more sticky texture and the water thins it out some. So for this recipe, I used a little bit more water. So you're going to want to make sure that that's stirred up, that those pieces are broken up. And you don't have to worry about doing anything extra just to break those sugar pieces up. Trust me that once that fire gets to um, boiling and making that that um your little base simmer your water and brown sugar base simmer then trust me those pieces are going to dissolve quickly and break up itself so yes we're letting this break up or we're letting this thicken up and you just keep stirring it as i'm doing here um and to make sure that nothing is sticking to your pan but if you have that good old non-stick trust me ain't nothing gonna stick so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of that xanthan gum so it shows a half a tablespoon that's not what i did i actually only did half of a teaspoon of um of the xanthan gum so i love to use my rubber spatula so don't mind me here but what you're going to want to do is take a whisk because a whisk actually breaks up the xanthan gum faster because you have to realize that xanthan gum gets really gummy. So once it hits heat, it starts to gum up. But just use that whisk, which I did off camera. And look at that. You see that consistency is starting to thicken up. So you just want to keep the heat on it, keep stirring it, make sure it doesn't stick to the pot, the um the the pan. But again, if you have that good old non-stick pan, trust me, it's not going to stick to the bottom of that pan. So keep stir stirring that until you get the consistency and the thickness that you want. Okay, so now this is my trick and my tip. I use the allulose in most recipes, they just use the brown sugar replacement. But I use the allulose because what brown sugar replacement tends to do, it's erythrothal. Th Listen, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. So it's whatever type of sugar it is, the brown sugar replacement. And it tends to crystallize when you cook it over heat. So by adding the allulose, it allows it to remain the same consistency as it is when it's over heat um, versus thinner than thick. So um, add the allulose and you can add just a little bit more. So what I did was I added another fourth of a cup of allulose, but it's really to taste because honey, real genuine honey is sweet. It's very sweet. So now um the last thing that we're going to do is add our honey flavored extract 
So go ahead and drop a few drops in there. What you're going to do to measure it out is to just do a teaspoon, a full teaspoon of that um, flavoring. And really, you can do this to taste, um, but typically all you need, and it really depends on which honey flavor extract you use, but typically all you need is a full teaspoon. Um, but sometimes I go a little bit overboard and I'll put a little bit extra in there. Um, if I'm using it, it just depends on what I'm using my honey for, but that's it.